can feel it. I can feel it. I'm afraid. Robots became so intelligent. They define themselves as human beings. Torture! I was always taught torture was wrong. But I'm pro-America, and now that they say torture's good, well, I decided that when in Rome do as the Romans do. But humans don't care about seeing other humans tortured. We've been dehumanized. They got mad though when the Marines threw that puppy off the cliff because people still have empathy for animals. I thought, what about an iPad? What is it going to think? People love inanimate objects. They love things. They love possessions. They don't get upset by humans being tortured. Yes, naughty little boys. So I thought, what would happen if we tortured an iPad? And that's what we're about to do. Okay, 12 pound sledgehammer. Make sure this is working. Good. Just a professional interrogation for America, what we do, the good guys. After all, Joseph Mingolo wasn't that bad, was he now, according to our government? Got the electrical power here. And of course, made in the USA waterboarding equipment. We're gonna have a discussion with you, Mr. iPad. You understand? And you're going to answer our questions. Al Gore's on your board. And you guys pose as a bunch of egalitarian liberals. But you're made in China by basically slave labor. Well, Mr. iPad, again, I'm going to ask you, why are you made in China? This is going to go on for a long time here. And it's only going to get rougher. Oh, you're going to, you're going to not respond? Well, that's fine. At the end of our little session with the iPad, I'm going to explain exactly why we're doing this uh, in detail. But overall, it's an important experiment. We've got all these different implements uh, of uh, torture or enhanced interrogation, but I figure we just go ahead and cut right to the chase uh, with the power drill. Again, one of the tools uh, of the CIA. I've told it to explain to us why it's in league with Al Gore, and it will not answer my question. We're going to get really serious right now. We're going to get some answers. Now I'm not even going to ask you questions. This is like in Pakistan when a predator drone drops a bomb on a wedding. Now we're just going to kill your ass, because that's pro-America! Yeah! Come on, yeah! Answer my questions! We're the good guys! We're America! You will answer our questions! Torture is good! I smell China. Literally, you can smell it. Look at that smoke coming out. Let me get you cleaned up for the next round. Well, you're still alive. We've been torturing you for quite a while. Because again, that's the American way. That's freedom. And uh, now we're going to go ahead and put you out of your misery with a firing squad. So let's put your little blindfold on. Let's uh, give you a uh, cigarette. Good. It's time for the firing squad for high treason. No judge, no court, no nothing. Under the Enemy Belligerence Act, now in the U.S. Senate, we are allowed to arrest you as a U.S. citizen torture you, kill you, do whatever we want, because that is freedom. Enjoy your cigarette. No trial, no nothing. Under the USA Patriot Act, iPad, you are terminated. Ready, aim, fire. Well, looks like that didn't do it. We have to shoot you a couple more times here. This is going to continue for a while here. I'm doing this because I'm a patriot. I'm going to take your bank accounts because I'm a patriot. I'm going to set up checkpoints because I'm a patriot. Everything I do is because I'm a patriot, and you're an evil lot guy. And one more right between the eyes just to get you out of your pain. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how we deal with terrorists. <laughs> you know, after we torture somebody to death, we got to get rid of the body. we got to dismember it. So even though the iPad's no longer with us, we got to get rid of the evidence. 
Oh, the guts. <laughs> it's almost as funny as one of them dead Iraqi kids. <laughs> Those weapons of mass destruction got to be somewhere. Oh, it's their fault for bringing their kids to a battle. That's right. Nope, no weapons over there. <laughs> it's almost as funny as one of them dead Iraqi kids. <laughs> Designed in America, made in China. You have just taken part in a psychological test, a study. There's a lot of different facets to it. Number one, I like Apple. I like the iPad. We have a couple in the office, and I bought one at home. But I've seen people literally worshiping these machines. You know, humans don't care about fellow humans anymore, but they care about inanimate objects. And I said, we ought to do a psychological test to show how people get upset out on the web about watching the video you just saw, but don't care about Iraqi kids in a minivan being murdered in front of everybody. This is the dehumanization. We saw that a year ago when the Marines throw the puppy off the cliff, and it was admitted the Marines had done it, and the Marine Corps admitted they'd done it, and actually f kicked them out of the Corps, but people were still living in denial, saying, no, the Marines didn't kill that puppy, it's too evil. See, Iraqis are dehumanized, but the puppy, it matters. Well, the puppy matters a hell of a lot more than this iPad did. And over a million Iraqis in the last seven years have been killed conservatively, and their society was wrecked like this iPad. And so that's one reason I did this. I also wanted to show, and I'll guarantee in the comments below this YouTube video, you'll see it, that people are going to be angry that I did this because they associate it with a living thing. And in the future, computers may become artificially intelligent, like Isaac Asimov talked about 60 years ago. There'll be laws against doing this to computers. That shows how twisted our worldview has gotten, where we've been trained by the eugenicist environmentalists that human life means nothing. But I do want to add something here. I don't believe in reincarnation, not in animal life, not in human life. But in the case of this iPad, it did not die. Its consciousness or all of its programs and apps are downloaded on two computers over there. We've already bought a replacement. And so literally the data that was in this iPod will repossess and will enter the body of a new iPad. But Iraqi civilization and many other civilizations, the uh, many areas of Serbia, have been reduced to rubble that resembles uh, this pile of junk. Then, of course, there's another facet. Apple claims they're all liberal and trendy and care about humanity, but Al Gore, who wants to put carbon taxes that will reduce world population in place, is on their board. And Apple pushes all of this anti-private property rights, anti-human propaganda. And so I guess it makes sense that they have giant factories with people working for slave wages all over China. Oh yeah, designed in America, made in China. And the people there are being paid so little they can't ever afford to buy an iPad. And so there's also a lot of hypocrisy there. I think technology is great, but it's a double-edged sword. It can be used as a tool for good or for bad. Uh, but for those of you out there that were upset by seeing this happen, or think it was wasteful, 500 bucks, this will probably get a million views in the next year, and will educate thousands and thousands of people that watch it who will get what we did here today. And then, of course, there's the subject of torture itself. The Army's own report, the Tagumbu report, admitted they were raping children, torturing people with battery acid, with drills, torturing people's children in front of them. Those are human beings, ladies and gentlemen, and are a trillion times more important than this iPad that the mind of man created. Man is the greatest species on this planet. Man is reaching towards the stars. And we also need to be wary of the future of technology lest it supplant humanity and be used by a technocratic elite to set up a prison planet. The elite have written many white papers stating that because they have robotics and automation, they don't need a large population anymore. That's why Bill Joy back in 2000 wrote the article, Why the Future Doesn't Need Us, and discussed the fact that the elite are seriously considering exterminating the majority of the world population. I know a lot of you went to college and you believe in the people bomb and you believe there's too many people. The problem is you don't understand that you're in the crosshairs of the elite as well. And machines are being used as one of the major tools to control us, to track us, to predict our movements, to predict our very thoughts. And so it's important to keep technology on a very short leash, lest it be used to enslave us. Again, I'm Alex Jones with InfoWars.com. I hope this uh, little presentation has spurred some of you to think, 
I hope you'll have lively discussions with your friends and co-workers and neighbors about the torture of an iPad. Of all the reasons we did this, number one is to get you thinking out there. Many of you can't form relationships with fellow humans now. You're only forming them with machines. You're losing your humanity. The vocabulary of the average American has shrunk by thousands and thousands of words. And the statistics show it's even getting worse with young people, with teenagers. You go out to a restaurant, you see all the kids around the table texting their friends. I love technology, but I also understand the downsides. And that's why we showed you here, it isn't machines that matter, it's the people that built them. It's this precious species. Rediscover the power of humanity.